Hello and good morning or good afternoon to day one of the Daytron um, Digital Experience Days 2020. Um, throughout this week, we want to present you um, different tools, accessories, and technologies of the Daytron CNC milling systems. Um, today, we're going to start with the Tool Assist, which is the Daytron Tool Magazine, the automatic tool changer. Um, I'm going to demonstrate this, how it works, how we're going to set everything up, how we're going to set up the tools, how it's working when we run a program inside of the machine. Um, as well on the ML cube and on the MX cube later on. Um, so first off, what is the Datron Tool Assist? It's basically an outside box, which is the tool compartment. So it holds all the tools. It can hold up to 143 tools with HSK um, E25 collets, which are those. Um, minimum capacity would be 60. Um, there are slightly different capacities on the HSK E32. I'm going to talk about this later on. So, how I work with it. Um, first of all, um, I have prepared a little program on this plate. We just make a face milling operation. We do um, four holes and a, and a chamfer. So, very basic and um, standard demonstration part. I've prepared this on my vacuum table. And first off, I'm doing a tool check. So the tool check on the Daytron Next Control, which is my operating system here, tells me which tools do I need for this particular job, um, and if I have them already stored in my magazine. In this case, as I told you before, we have three different tools. Uh, none, of this, none of them um, are already in, inside of the machine, so I need to set them all up. And once this is done, we will have a little, a little tray. If you come around the corner and follow me. This is called the user supply. So this is basically my little tray um, where I put my tools in um, to get them into the tool assist. So first of all, we go to the, the Tribos clamping station and put all the tools into the collets. The Trino system, for those who uh, have never heard about this before, it's basically we do have our, our collet here and the bore inside of the collet is not per perfectly round. It's like a polygonal shape. So whenever I put pressure from three different sides from 120 degree angle, uh, when I put pressure on these collets, they will like open up, get into this perfect round shape and I can fit my, my, um, my tool shank in it. So I do the, the reduction insert, close off the valve, and then I pump it up to 180 bar. And now I can fit my 10 millimeter shank perfectly. By the way, this special tool, it's a brand new tool. It's a, a balanced single flute step cutter. So we got a shank of 10 millimeter and we got a cutting uh, diameter of 20. Uh, a very awesome tool for, for face milling and roughing operations. Um, later this week on Friday, we have a, like an online workshop here, uh, which is all about tools. So we're gonna talk about this later this week. Don't miss that. So I'm doing the same thing for my two other tools. Single flute balanced cutter diameter eight. And last but not least, chamfer tool. All right, so the tools are set up in my holders. So I bring them over to the machine. So here's what we got at the, um, 
at my um, Datron Next operating system. So it tells me three different tools are not available. Um, this is the stepped 20 millimeter cutter. I click on insert in magazine. Uh, on the next screen, I get an illustration basically of this user supply um, of the five different positions. The number one, position number one is highlighted, which means I put my HSK and the tool basically upside down, the tool is pointing down, uh, into this tray. I click on additional tool, choose the regular end mill diameter eight, additional tool, chamfer. All right. Once I'm uh, done with this, we bring the user supply over to the machine. Um, and I put this into this, into this like providing arm which goes inside of or into the, into the um, tool assist. Uh, you can't miss the direction of this because um, there's like this little flat area on one side and the pin. So you can't do anything wrong here. I press that in. And once I click, start sorting the tools into the, into the big tray that holds all the tools. Um, we're going to see this from the inside. What's happening, there is a little gripper, a pick and place system, which now takes the three HSK collets from the, from the user supply and put them into the tray. So I am not related to any tool positions or yeah, specific positions in the tool magazine because the software will keep track of the tool ID of the basically the article number or the specific tool which you have. Um, so it will sort them in the, in the order, yeah, in, in whichever order. Um, so I can now just measure them all. And once I click this, we can uh, see what's happening from the inside. There is a little gate that provides, or that has basically two positions, um, two positions for HSK collets. So it will reach inside of the machine area. And we'll basically already pro provide the next tool. And, and this, is, this is also one of the, one of the big benefits. Um, while my, my part is running, it is already preparing the next tool in this, in this machine supply. So I'm not losing any time there. touch probe inside of the machine. So the tool length will be assigned automatically. <coughs> all right. So I got all my tools in, in, the, in the tool assist. Now my program is loaded. All that I've got to do is I have to, to set up my origin, my workpiece origin. And for those of you who have never seen this before, I go to workpiece setup and I do have a little camera which is mounted on the z-axis. Um, so if we get a little closer to the to the z-axis, there is a little camera on like the right side of the of the uh, or right hand of the spindle. And whenever I now I, I get a live a live picture of my machine view of my machine inside, like a top view. And whenever I swipe over, I can move my machine just by swiping over the, the display. You can zoom in, and when I got it in, in a, like a more or less the correct position in the center of my of my screen, I can I can draw 
a rectangle around this. The machine gives me, or the software gives me, touch off and probing points. And when I hit start, the 3D touch probe will touch the part off and set the origin in the center. All right, so I got all my tools set up. I got my workpiece origin set up. So I can basically just press play and we see what's happening. By the way, the workpiece holding is vacuum in this case. I got my vacuum pump outside of this room. Um, and it's basically just holding the, the part by, by um, vacuum, negative pressure. So here's what we do. We just skim the part off with a, with a 20 millimeter step cutter. And while this operation is running, the software is already preparing the next tool in this, in this two, two position machine supply arm. So operation is done. Gate is open and the arm reaches in immediately into the machine. Tool is coming in and chamfering the four holes. All right, that was my, my little running or CNC job that we run on the machine. So what are basically the main benefits of this kind of tool changer? For those of you who know the old Daytron tool changers and, and magazine types, we most of the time had like boxes sliding boxes like drawers inside of the machine area. Um, and depending on, on the volume and the amount of chips that you've been doing during your jobs, um, sometimes they might have gone, gone stuck that the, the, the door would not like close or open correctly. So it gives you a lot more process stability now that it's just outside of the, of the uh, machining area. Secondly, we can, we can set up tools for our next job simultaneously. So while one job is running and the machine is still working and, and, and cutting uh, the parts, uh, we can already go to our tool management or program management and um, prepare tools for the next job. Uh, so that saves you time in terms of, of setting up the machine. Um, and um, yeah, like I said, 60 or 143 tools um, at the M8 and ML cube. And when we go to the MX cube over, it'll be um, 60 or 110 tools, which can be um, set up. Size-wise, if we look at this in this direction, the tool changer is not any bigger, like footprint-wise, than the terminal when it's completely folded up, like parallelly to the, to the front. So this is the same, same distance, so it's about um, 60 centimeters um, reaching out on the right side of the, um, of the cabin. Um, so basically, you don't lose uh, any like, footprint if you put this on an, in an addition. So yeah, a lot, lot more process stability. We now take a look at the MX cube, which is the heavier and more dynamic machine. Um, and we just take a quick look at the, at the tool assist there. So like I said before, we do have a different HSK taper on the spindle, whereas we just used the HSK E25 
call it on the MX Cube. It's um, because of the larger spindle, it's HSK E32. So the collets are bigger, which means we can have a little smaller amount of tools that we can hold into the tool changer. Um, quick wrap up of the MX Cube. For those of you who have never seen it before, it's uh, the machine envelope of 1000 by 700 millimeters. So it's like a little bit um, smaller than the ML uh, where we worked before. Um, it's a, a massive polymer concrete table, uh, a lot more dynamic. It has an 8 kilowatt spindle on it and it automatically comes with the um, tool assist basically inside of the cabin. So the tool assist basically sits behind, behind this um, gray um, envelope here. And the user supply basically comes from this side. So also five positions for my user supply. It also runs on Datron's next software. So it basically works the same way as on our um, ML cube before. All right, that's it for the Datron tool assist, the new tool changer. If you have any questions, um, there's like a chat box um, in, this, in this live screen. Uh, otherwise, you can just uh, send us an email um, to the mail address of experience at datron.de. Tomorrow, we'll be back again with a very exciting topic. We're doing five axes on um, a Datron machine, on a regular three axis machine. We're going to have um, additional axis, fourth and a fifth axis. It's going to be very exciting. We're doing some simultaneous jobs, some indexing jobs. So um, we would be very glad if you join in again. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow.